Hello, in this video we're going to do a bunch of simple tax multiplier problems. So the tax multiplier is given as the change in income or change in output or change in real GDP. So Y is income or output or real GDP, all the same thing, divided by the change in T taxes. And this will equal minus the marginal propensity to consume divided by 1 minus the marginal propensity to consume. The MPC, the marginal propensity to consume, gives the change in consumption spending from an additional dollar of income. And the MPC will equal the change in consumption spending divided by the change in income. So uh, again, change in Y is the change in real GDP, change in output, change in income, and change in T is the change in taxes. And here we're technically dealing with lump sum taxes. So let's start. Let's calculate the size of the tax multiplier if the MPC equals 0 0.75. So taking our tax multiplier equation and substituting in 0 0.75, minus 0 0.75 divided by 0 0.25 equals minus 3. So a $1 cut in taxes increases output or real GDP by $3. So for every $1 cut in taxes, real GDP goes up by three dollars. If we were to increase taxes by a dollar, just the opposite here, output would fall by three dollars. Real GDP would fall by three dollars for every dollar increase in taxes. Example two, let's calculate the size of the tax multiplier if the MPC equals two-thirds. Once again, taking our formula and evaluating it at two-thirds, so minus two-thirds divided by one minus two-thirds is just minus two-thirds divided by a third, and that just equals minus two. So a dollar cut in taxes here increases output by two dollars, or a dollar increase in taxes decreases output or real GDP by two dollars. Example three, if taxes increase by four million and real GDP falls by five million, calculate the tax multiplier. So here we're gonna recognize that the tax multiplier can be thought of as a change in real GDP over the change in taxes. So GDP is falling by five million or minus five from a four million dollar increase in taxes. So our tax multiplier is minus 1.25. Example four, the MPC equals 0 0.6. What happens to real GDP if the government cuts taxes by 10 million? First, we need the size of the tax multiplier, putting 0 0.6 into the tax multiplier formula and simplifying, we get minus 1.5. The next step is to recognize that the tax multiplier is just a change in real GDP divided by the change in taxes and this equals minus 1.5. The change in taxes in this example is minus 10 for the $10 million tax cut, so I'm putting minus 10 in for change in T, and now we need to solve for change in Y. Multiplying both sides through by minus 10, the change in real GDP, the change in Y, equals 15 million. Example five, the government wants to increase real GDP by 40 million and the MPC equals 0 0.6. How much should the government cut taxes? The first thing we need is a tax multiplier. And as we saw in example four, given an MPC of 0.6, the tax multiplier is minus 1.5. So using our tax multiplier equation, given as the change in real GDP divided by the change in taxes. We're going to set that equal to minus 1.5 and plug in what we know. We know we want to increase real GDP by 40 million, so the change in Y is going to be 40. Now we need to figure out what is the size of the tax cut to achieve that, given the multiplier is minus 1.5. So solving for the change in taxes by multiplying through by the change in T, minus 1.5 times a change in t equals 40. Now dividing both sides through by minus 1.5. The change in taxes here is we have to cut taxes, so we got a minus sign here. We have to cut taxes by almost $27 million to achieve an increase in GDP of 40 million.
again, given our MPC and this problem of 0.6. Example six, if the tax multiplier is minus seven, what is the MPC? So the tax multiplier is given by this equation and we're trying to figure out the MPC. So we're just gonna set the uh, equation he here equal to the tax multiplier of minus seven. And now we wanna solve for MPC. So what I'll do is I'll take what's in the denominator here, one minus MPC and multiply both sides through by it. That leaves us with this expression. On the right hand side, minus seven times one is minus seven and minus seven times minus MPC is gonna be plus seven MPC. I will now add MPC to both sides and add a seven to both sides. So we get eight MPC equals seven. And finally dividing through by eight, we get an MPC of zero. 0.875. And in our last problem, in an economy, we learn that every $1 million increase in real GDP or real income causes consumption spending to rise by 800,000. What is the size of the tax multiplier? First, we need to figure out what the MPC is. And on the first slide, I said we can think of the MPC as the um, increase in consumption spending uh, from a change in real GDP or income, so change in C divided by change in Y. Using our numbers up here, we get an MPC of 0.8, and now plugging that 0.8 into our tax multiplier example, we have a tax multiplier of minus 4. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.